this morning is all I can say. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome to God be the glory. I'm just grateful that he trusts me to be a sower. He said, I give seed to the sower. So as long as you're a sower, God's going to always make sure that we got seed too. So see, the problem is we want God to increase us. We want God to give us overflow. But he said, given it shall be given. See, we don't believe in giving. We want God to enlarge us, heal our body, open doors for us, give us overflow. But we don't want to give anything. But if he gave his only begotten son as a sacrifice, what make you think you're not supposed to sacrifice? Good God, so we sit there with our hands open. Oh, God, give me more. But what have you given? He said, given, it shall be given. So if you're not releasing anything, what makes you a candidate to receive something? Yes, Lord. Yeah. Amen. So you're welcome. But yeah, I just want you to pray that God destroy every assignment of the enemy from off my life and that he continue to bless me in the ministry. So you can pray now while we're on the phone. Thank yes, you, Lord. sir. Father God, we thank you for Pastor Cornelius this morning. God, yes, we Lord. thank you for the force that he is in the yeah. kingdom of God. We thank you that every tongue that rises up against him, yes. that he shall condemn. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We cancel the enemy, yes, Lord, of jealousy. Yes. God, yes. I even cancel the assignment from the people who think that they are the powers that be, that want to try to keep him from building where you have planted. All, yes. all, all, yes, but I speak in the spirit people talking about you in your area. They're like, he crawling. We gotta, we gotta do something to stop him. He, he think he this, he think he that. But the Lord said, hallelujah, he's going to send you a Calvary. Yes, Lord. Yes. Every time somebody opens their mouth, he's going to shut it up. God, we thank you for victory over his life and everything concerning him. God, we cancel every enemy. Yes, Lord. Yes. We cancel the enemy of sickness. We cancel yes. the enemy of infirmity. We cancel the enemy of doubt. We cancel every enemy of witchcraft. And yes, God. And yes. every warlock assigned to his life. They had no power and they are rendered helpless yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. They are rendered ineffective right now in the name of Jesus. They are rendered void. Yes, yes. God. I thank you, Father God, for the helm of protection. Yes. That you're increasing right now, not just on him, but even his members, God. Because when the enemy can't get to us, they're trying to get to our members. God, I thank you that you, yes, God, I thank you that you're increasing the power of intercession that you're putting around him. God, and every false prophet, every false intercessor, everyone in that house that has, yes, God, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. Every person in that house whose motive is not for you. Yes, Lord. They have to exit in the name of Jesus. I thank you for exponential growth, God. And I thank you that you're doing it quickly. God, I thank you that every enemy will fall under his feet in the name of Jesus. He got too much work to do. Hallelujah. I even thank you for the new luggage that's coming, God, because this itinerary is getting ready to go through the roof. Yes, Lord. I thank you for the balance that you've given him so he can do everything at once, God. I thank you for the wisdom that you have and give it and pour it upon his shoulders today. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Because this season, yes, hey, this is the season that he's gone through for, God. The season coming is the season that he has suffered for. Yes, Lord. This season, God, is the season that he, that he took the beating for. This is the season that you promised him over 10 years ago. Yes. And now it is coming to fruition yes. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We yes. love you, Pastor. Yes. Let me tell you something, and I'm, and I'm going to stop. And I know you don't like titles. I know you don't like titles. Say what the Lord gives you. I'm listening. <laughs> I know you don't yeah. like titles. Mm -hmm. But you can't help it. You're a five-fold walking gift. You're, you're a five-fold ministry. You are, a, a, you are the apostle. You are the prophet. You are the teacher. You are the pastor. And you are the evangelist. You don't like it. But it is who you are. God, really and the people have to respect the offices that you walk in. Stop diminishing yourself. Hey, thank you, Father. Walk in your authority. God can trust you with it. Not a whole lot of people he can trust with it, as we said. But God said he can trust you with his attention gifts, all five of them. Thank you, Lord. 
God revealed to me that some of these major pastors and leaders that we see, um, you'd be surprised some of them got me blocked on social media but God showed me where how the reason why some of them are being exposed and their stuff is coming out because they keep coming against me. Because they keep coming against you. I'm trying to be yeah. nice on you. Yeah. He revealed it to me. He said that's why some of them are being sick in their body. That's why some yeah. of them are being exposed for sleeping around out of their marriages. He said literally because they keep coming against me. And they gonna die. Thank you. 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 know how many prophets told me that? So many prophets keep telling me the same thing you just said. That if they don't stop coming against me, God said they gonna fall dead. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you what That's the Lord said. Is, Lord have mercy. They are going to die. So stop mm -hmm. it. I'm calling y'all out in the spirit. I'm speaking it in the wind. Stop messing with Pastor Cornelius Edwards or your mm -hmm. life will be shortened. Yeah, no! Repanda la basoto. Yeah, no! Father, have mercy on them, God. If you want to live, get your name out of your mouth. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on them. Keep his name out of your mouth. I'm speaking it in the wind. The angels are going to catch it in the wind and carry it to the ears that he can hear it. Leave him alone. I remember somebody told me another prophet. He said, he said God say, stop saying have mercy on him. He said, I'm trying to remove these people so that you can fulfill. He said, He said, I'm trying to remove them so that you can fulfill purpose. And you keep telling me to have mercy on them when I'm getting them out. Yeah, no! Oh. He said, I'm getting them out of your way because there's some that are stubborn. They won't stop doing witchcraft against you. He said, so I got to keep. Yeah, no! He said, I got to remove them so that you can fulfill purpose. He said, because some of them, they so stubborn and they're addicted to this thing. He said, some of them spent years fighting against your purpose. Since you were younger, they've been coming against you, trying to stop certain doors from coming. He said, so I got to remove them out of your way so that you can freely fulfill purpose. So I remember probably, he said, stop. He said, God say, stop saying, have mercy on them. He said, I got to get them out of the way. He said, I got to remove them. And he said, when you keep saying mercy, God is honoring your words because whatever you speak, he's going to honor. He said, stop telling God to have mercy because he's honoring your words. He said, the only reason why they're still living because you keep crying mercy for them. Good God Almighty. Oh, thank you, Good God. God I'm telling you. And if God said in the beginning, my spirit ain't going to thrive with men, always yours ain't got to either. So wow. let them they, they say, <laughs> you almost say, let's let them jokers die. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Oh, God. oh, God. It's like my heart. My heart is like, God, I don't want to see nobody. Because I already know where they're going because they're doing witchcraft and they don't want to repent. So they're going to go to hell. Yeah. And I wouldn't wish hell on nobody.